uh, he's helping his friends. Okay, uh, so now we are going to see uh, study screw jack uh, experiment, and here we are going to find out coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction between screw nut and jack. Okay, now here you can see. Okay, the screw here you can see, and even uh, the threads. So, do you know the some terminology? What what is the difference between two threads? Each one, each one. Very good. Okay. So, what is theta and what is phi? Theta and phi is the term we have uh, in uh, friction. We have studied. Angle of friction. Angle of friction. Okay. So, coefficient of friction find out. हमें करना है. So that is theta was the angle of plane given, right? So here phi is the coefficient of friction. Okay. Angle of friction. And theta is the angle of inclined plane. Now here uh, there is uh, some formula. Okay, we'll come to that later. Now what is that you have to see? What what is that you have to understand here? That this is a small setup for screw jack. But uh, you know in industry or big big uh, construction sites, uh, a time comes when it is huge blocks, okay, or weights. For whatever purpose, we need to lift it. Or we have to, uh, you know, uh, keep it down. Okay, so to lift such load or to bring it down, we need such huge arrangements. So what is happening here in this particular setup? Here, if you see, uh, you can observe it. If I, uh, you know, move it to the clockwise, like uh, for me, it is a clockwise direction. So if you see, it is going down or going up? Going up. This is going down, right? Down. Yes. It is going down now. This yeah, so the weight is coming up, and that is going. Ah, you don't observe the weight. Okay. okay. Just see what is happening to the screw. Okay. It is going down. Yes, Means yes. The overall assembly is lowering. Mm -hmm. We call it as lowering. Okay. So I am moving it uh, clockwise. Ah, uh, clockwise to me. Now, if I do like this, okay. This uh, now type of the. Uh, if I do the opposite direction type. See, now I am tying it like this. So what is happening? Tell me. In this case, it is. Increasing, it is rising. Okay, so here are two things you have seen just now. That what is rising and what is lowering. The basic function you have seen. Now coming back to the original experiment. Now what is happening? We have two things. You have to uh, raise some load or you have to uh, lower some load. And when you are doing that, what is that minimum effort you are putting to start that mechanism? Now what I say, let me put it in the words. So first, what I'll do, I'll just you know tie it like this. So we have to see to it that this level is you know kind of in a straight line. So first, let me tie this. Okay. It may not be exact, but now. The weight W what you apply here, okay? So some weight I am applying here, okay? One weight I have applied here, and we can apply a more load here, okay? So say two kg I have applied here. So this is the W value because if you see the formula, P equals to W tan tan of theta plus phi R by R, okay? This is the formula we have. So when I have to raise the load, when I have to raise the load, this is my W value, and now what is the effort I am adding? So that it is, you know, coming down. So let's see what is the effort we can add. So it is, it should start moving. So this is my effort. This is P value, and this is my W value. So it is not moving now. So let me just try with some other weight. See, it is easily moving. So given this is not the correct weight, okay. So I have to add some different uh, weights. And then we have to write down the efforts. So we have to see how much weight. Yeah, please add it. Add it. Stop. You can. Okay, you're writing it. You can add it. Try to add the effort. Okay, it's going. <laughs> so it is capable to take that load. So we have to see a minimum effort needed to bring that assembly up or up or down. Okay, minimum effort needed. To bring that assembly up or down. It should be impending motion, na? Then. Yes, just to very good point. Yeah, you remembered in fact. Just to start the motion, we have to start. One more. Yeah. 
okay because there is no proper oiling done okay so it is not really smoothly happening okay otherwise it might have gone very easily down so we have to see that with you know what with a small effort it should start the work should be done okay so finally our motive to increase or to rise or lower the bigger weight uh, is achieved okay so that is what uh, application part of it so once we do uh, we have to do like this for three sets then come to the so anyway we will not uh, take this readings we are just seeing the uh, experiment so here come to the calculation part so here we have the formula so the effort need to raise the load is p equals to w tan of theta plus phi small r by capital r ma'am here so p is the weight which we place there effort ha huh, effort okay and the capital w is the weight we have kept it here on the list here okay so uh, capital r is the radius of screw head okay radius of the, screw, the screw head, head. so this is the screw head okay, okay? And the small r is the radius of screw. This is the small screw. Okay, ये जो screw है ना अंदर का, उसका actually अंदर का part जो है, it is that small r. Okay. Okay, so small r, capital R we have. Theta 